Fairy tales have been a staple of childhood for generations, filled with magical worlds, daring heroes and happy endings. But the stories we know today are often sanitized versions of much darker and grimmer tales. In this video, we will uncover the original, unsettling versions of some of our most beloved fairy tales and explore their historical contexts, transformations over time, and the moral lessons they originally intended to teach. Welcome to Mythomaniac Legends Alive. The tales we all know, the classic fairy tales. Cinderella finds her prince, Sleeping Beauty awakens with a kiss. Hansel and Gretel outsmart the Wicked Witch. These stories, sanitized and sweetened over time, have become bedtime staples, lulling children to sleep with promises of happy endings. But what about the tales that came before? The original versions, far from saccharine, were stark, brutal and brimming with darkness. They were cautionary tales. Warnings woven into narratives that reflected the harsh realities of the times. These stories, intended for adults, served as societal mirrors, reflecting the fears, anxieties and societal norms of their eras. The fairy tales we know today have undergone a significant transformation. They have been stripped of their original grit and darkness, packaged and presented as harmless entertainment for children. The Grimm brothers, known for their collection of fairy tales, played a significant role in this evolution. They collected and documented German folk tales, but in doing so, they also sanitized and moralized many of the stories, making them more palatable for a broader audience. This process of adaptation continued through the centuries, influenced by social and cultural shifts. Disney in the 20th century further solidified this trend, creating iconic animated films that cemented the sanitized versions of these tales in the popular imagination. The sanitization of fairy tales, while making them more accessible to younger audiences, has also resulted in the loss of some of their original power and meaning. The darker elements of these stories, though unsettling, served a purpose. They highlighted the dangers of the world, the potential for cruelty and injustice, and the importance of resilience and cunning in the face of adversity. These themes, while perhaps not suitable for all children, are nonetheless important for understanding the complexities of human nature and navigating the challenges of life. By exploring the original versions of these tales, we can gain a deeper appreciation for their historical context, their original intentions, and the enduring lessons they offer. The journey into the shadows of fairy tales is a fascinating one. It's a journey that peels back the layers of time and adaptation, revealing the raw and sometimes unsettling truths that lie beneath the surface of these beloved stories. It's a journey that reminds us that fairy tales, at their core, are not just fantastical escapes, but powerful reflections of the human experience, both the light and the dark. Cinderella, the quintessential tale of rags to riches, is a story deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness. We all know the Disney-fied version, the kind, mistreated girl, the magical fairy godmother, the glass slipper, and the handsome prince who sweeps her off her feet. But the Cinderella of the older tales is a far cry from this passive heroine. In these earlier versions, often attributed to the brothers Grimm, Cinderella is a more assertive character, actively participating in her own rescue. The original Cinderella story is brimming with dark and violent elements absent from the modern adaptations. The stepsisters, desperate to fit their feet into the glass slipper, resort to self-mutilation, cutting off their toes and heels in a gruesome attempt to deceive the prince. The prince, far from the charming savior, is initially oblivious to their deceit. Furthermore, the ending is far from happily ever after. The stepsisters, discovered in their treachery, are punished brutally their eyes pecked out by birds as they attend Cinderella's wedding. This gruesome retribution highlights the unforgiving nature of the world in these older tales, a world where actions had severe and often brutal consequences. The evolution of Cinderella from a tale of vengeance to a story of hope and romance reflects a shift in societal values and sensibilities. The brutality of the original story, while reflective of the harsh realities of earlier times, became increasingly unpalatable for audiences in later centuries. The emphasis shifted towards themes of kindness, forgiveness and the triumph of good over evil, values considered more suitable for children and reflective of a growing belief in human progress and societal improvement. This shift, while arguably diluting the original power of the tale, 
also made it more accessible and relatable to a wider audience. The sanitized Cinderella, while lacking the raw power of its predecessor, still resonates with audiences today. It speaks to the enduring human desire for justice, for recognition, and for a chance to rise above one's circumstances. The tale, in its modern form, offers a message of hope, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, kindness and resilience can pave the way to a brighter future. A pause 3S. Rapunzel, the girl with hair as golden as the sun, is often remembered for her long locks and the prince who climbs them to rescue her. But the original tale, as told by the brothers Grimm, is far more twisted and filled with darkness than the charming storybook version many of us know. In the Grimm's rendition, Rapunzel's story begins with a desperate bargain. Her mother, craving forbidden rampion from a witch's garden, persuades her husband to steal it. Caught in the act, the husband is forced to promise his unborn child to the witch as recompense. Thus Rapunzel is taken away at birth and imprisoned in a tall, isolated tower without doors or stairs, cut off from the world. The witch, known as Dame Gothel, visits Rapunzel by climbing her long golden hair, which she lets down from a small window. Rapunzel grows up in solitude, her only company, the witch and the birds that occasionally perch on her window. One day a prince hears Rapunzel singing and is drawn to the tower. He mimics the witch's call, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, and climbs up. The two fall in love and plan an escape. However, their secret meetings do not go unnoticed. When Dame Gothel discovers the prince's visits, her wrath is swift and brutal. She cuts off Rapunzel's hair and banishes her to a desolate wilderness. The witch then uses the severed hair to lure the prince, who climbs up only to be confronted by the enraged Dame Gothel. In his despair, the prince leaps from the tower, falling into a bed of thorns that blind him. Rapunzel, now alone and pregnant with the prince's children, gives birth to twins in the harsh wilderness. Despite her suffering, she endures, and her tears of sorrow eventually heal the prince's blindness when they are reunited. They return to his kingdom to live together, but the scars of their ordeal remain. The original Rapunzel tale is a haunting narrative of captivity, cruelty and resilience. The tower, a symbol of isolation and control, reflects the oppressive forces that shape Rapunzel's life. Her hair, a symbol of her identity and connection to the outside world, becomes a tool of both her imprisonment and her salvation. The evolution of Rapunzel's story into a more sanitized, romanticized version mirrors society's discomfort with the harsh realities depicted in the original tale. The themes of abduction, imprisonment and betrayal are softened or omitted entirely, replaced by a focus on love and adventure. Yet the core of Rapunzel's story, the struggle for freedom and the endurance of the human spirit, remains. The tale, in its many forms, continues to captivate audiences, reminding us of the power of hope and the strength to overcome even the darkest of circumstances. Pause 3 S. E. Sleeping Beauty, the tale of a princess cursed to eternal sleep, is another classic steeped in symbolism and veiled darkness. The Disney version, with its elegant princess, charming prince, and benevolent fairies, presents a sanitized and romanticized view of the story, but the original version, as found in Sun, Moon, and Talia by Giambattista Basile, reveals a darker and more unsettling narrative. In Basil's tale, the sleeping princess is not awakened by a kiss, but impregnated in her sleep by a king who finds her in her enchanted slumber. She gives birth to twins while still unconscious. One of the infants, seeking sustenance, sucks her finger, inadvertently removing the flax that caused her sleep. The princess awakens to find herself a mother married to the king who violated her in her sleep. The story takes an even darker turn when the king's wife, consumed by jealousy, attempts to murder the princess and her children. The king, ultimately choosing his new family, throws his wife into a fiery pit. The original Sleeping Beauty story, far from a romantic fairy tale, delves into themes of violation, power, and the complexities of human relationships. The princess, passive and powerless, is subjected to the will of others, reflecting the vulnerability of women in patriarchal societies. The story, rather than offering a straightforward happy ending, 
leaves the reader with a sense of unease, grappling with the moral ambiguities of the character's actions and the enduring consequences of their choices. The evolution of Sleeping Beauty from a tale of violation and revenge to a story of romantic awakening reflects changing societal attitudes towards gender roles and sexuality. The explicit elements of the original story, considered taboo in later centuries, were toned down or removed entirely. The focus shifted towards the romantic ideal of a prince rescuing a princess, a narrative more palatable for a wider audience and more aligned with the evolving notions of romantic love and chivalry. The sanitized Sleeping Beauty, while losing some of the original story's complexity and darkness, still retains a sense of mystery and enchantment. The enduring appeal of the tale lies in its exploration of themes of fate, destiny, and the transformative power of love. Despite the sanitization, the story continues to resonate with audiences, reminding us of the power of hope and the possibility of awakening, both literally and metaphorically, to a brighter future. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to subscribe and like if you enjoy the video.